Hi, it's Maggie here again from Winnie the Minx um, UK on YouTube and The Captain. Um, today I'm going to share with you, um, it's the Crafter's Companion set. Um, the Ultimate Pro Crafter's Companion it comes in a thing like this. Um, this came out in 2008 and um, it was a, few, a couple of years ago that I bought it though. I didn't have it back then and um, I'd never heard of it. But basically what it is, uh, what it does is it's got 10 functions in one case. Um, it's a card maker, it's an envelope scorer, um, there's a box folder, there's an envelope, an envelope box creator, an emboss embossing designs, decorative lines and corners, pop out and key card creator, bow maker, built-in paper trimmer and there's a storage compartment for adding in new bits to this box. Um, basically all, all I want to show you today is um, for doing standard envelopes, um, the envelope box envelope for cards that are slightly thicker um, or if they're just not flat cards if you've did an embellishment etc on it and some boxes I would like to look at. So um, these are these are some envelopes that I've made from this machine using this machine. Um, these ones are C6 size, and they would uh, you know this is just a normal standard envelope once you fold that down etc. Very simple, straightforward. This the wed wedding theme, but I've did various different ones um, there, and it's quite straightforward using this machine. Um, the square ones here that I've done a couple of square ones, depending on the size of your card, and you can even do quite a large one. This one was done from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, I'm going to have a look at the C6 and um, do an envelope, um, and then do a envelope envelope box type card, and um, just to let you see how it's done. So basically, on the Crafters Companion, um, you've got a bit. A bit here for doing envelopes and the box type and the machine comes with two of these um, basically it's like um, for scoring etc on it but sometimes I like to use my own one because depending on what your papers like sometimes it can rip so um, I've just I've did one here um, I've scored one here just to to let you see it and I'm just going to put onto the machine and there's a in the machine there's the triangle part of it and um we're looking at section C and E so when you're doing just your standard C6 envelope obviously you pick out your paper you could have it plain it's up to yourself and um, that's a square sheet of paper um 21 centimeters times 21 centimeters and that's to make a to fit an A6 card um so basically, um, A6, well, we fit an A6 card, so it's a C6 envelope. So basically what you're doing is you're lining up these corners. Um, there's a, it's cut out in this machine, so if I could show you there, I don't know if you can see it. But it's cut out for the top part, and you line your paper up, and then you would score it along at section C. So make sure your paper's lined right up to the corner there. And you would score along that line in section C, then turn your paper upside down and you would score again along section C. It's You can do A, B, C, D, E, F, G for the sizes of your envelope and this one's going to be section C. So you score along the line on both sides of this paper, so that's these bits, and then the opposite ends you would score along line E right across and then turn it around and do it on E. And if you do that, your square becomes very similar to this. I don't know if you can actually see the lines on it. I'm showing it in white because um, it'd be harder to see there, but that's what your score lines would be if you folded it in. So it'd be like the shape of an envelope like that. Now, you'll have noticed on mine that uh, when these sections cross over with each other on the folds, if, if um, you left them, your envelope would become rather bulky. So I've just snipped mings out. Um, if you snip them out with a small pair of scissors, um, that's how it becomes. And then it, it's up to you how you fold it in. You would um, you fold it 
like that and leave the top part. And this bit here, it's up to yourself. You can either you can glue down these sides to glue your bit of paper. And you can leave it up if you want and then your card goes inside and you would do it like that. It'd be the back obviously and that's the front. But I normally tuck that down just like that. Fold it over or snip it off. It's up to yourself. Um, very easy to do. So on this one, here's one here's one that I did earlier on. So just flowers. Um, that's straightforward, just like that. So it's a would fit a C6 card. And here's a C6 card that I made earlier. Quite simple, plain. And once you've glued down those sides, that slots into that. Just like that. And then at the top, all you would do is fold it across and glue down those ends. Or you might want to seal it at the bottom and then obviously put a label or something on the front to who it was getting sent to. So that's your standard C6 card. Um, as I said, pretty straightforward. For the M low box M card, it's very sim similar again. Um, what you're trying to do is the envelope card. So there's your standard card with an envelope in it. And I don't know if, if you can see that side. It's just flat. But an envelope card gives you something like this on it. So it gives you a little bit room inside for a card that's that maybe you've got um, you've embossed it or you've de put decoupage on it and it's a bit thicker. Or if it's got something that sticks out and it won't fit into your standard envelope. So. I'm going to give you an example. Um, basically, it's the same. It's the same process again on this Crafters Companion. You'd line it up at section B C on here, so your paper gets lined up again. That make sure your paper's square. And um, if it's square, it'll work out. And you're going to score across C on this Crafters Companion. There's a, there's a second triangle part, and then you would. So you would do your section C first, score it along, turn your paper over and do the other section C. But then you bring it down to, there's a section underneath it, and then score again on C. Turn this paper to this side and do the same. So basically what you're doing is, and set on line C, you're scoring along, then bringing the paper down to the next triangle, and then you'd score again. So for the both sides, and then on this side, it would be E. You score on section E, which is there, bring that down so that you can see the triangle underneath it that your paper's fitted in, and then score again on section E. And you get, again, you'll get something like this. I don't know if you can see it, but when you fold, there'd be two folds on this because it's got two lines um, on it, and you just score them on both. You can see that. You would score it with, use your scorer and fold along the lines and you'll get a shape like that. And when you fold in your card, basically um, what you're getting is an envelope shape for C6, but it's it will work out like this. You'll have that edge in, on there. And that's just gluing up the sides again, tucking down the inner piece. And what you could actually fit in is, I'm just going to show you something I've made before, which is really for... Um, an album, but if I, this this won't fit in, that's about a C6 card and it's quite chunky as you can see, um, it's got tags etc in it. Now if I take this tag away from that and leave it at that size, then this envelope, envelope, envelope box that I've made um, would actually fit all that in it as you can see quite easily. So you can see the difference, it wouldn't fit into a normal C6 card, but it fits in just with that, it's about an inch I would say all going all the way around and if you sealed it down there's your envelope so it's actually quite clever and you can do wider ones um, for thicker cards etc like I said um, the companion set it comes with a little book and it tells you all the sizes C5 DL envelope um, if you were doing a square envelope a five inch square envelope um, it would give you the measurements what to do to be D and D and you're scoring it along. There's my, there's a, there's a five inch square envelope that I made on the machine. Um, it's not a, it's just a standard envelope to fit a standard card in. Um, you know, so I'm not sure if you've got one of these or something similar um, that you could use. Um, this was another thing I wanted to show you for, for the envelope box. 
envelope box is what it is. I find it hard to say that. Um, on my previous tape, I was talking about this punch that I've got, the ribbon punch. I got it from Hobbycraft, um, either between £2 and £3 or two fifty, something like that. And I used it on a previous video um, to show you that you put ribbon in and I had suggested that possibly you would do it on a card. So what I've actually did here is, um, should actually be this way up, is I used um, the Crafter's Companion just to score down to give that, again, like the envelope box down that edge so you can see it. And you could actually use this as a wallet for putting like um, a voucher or something in. But I've just quickly did this, added a bit of paper, I've put my bit of ribbon in, organza ribbon, I've punched down the card, to put in my bit of ribbon and I've just decorated it quickly. Um, just to show you um, and if you were putting in um, like a voucher or something for somebody's birthday or Christmas etc it could fit in there and in your C6 envelope 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 box card um, that would actually fit in there there you go um, just like that and you seal it down and you could give it to someone send it to someone etc so they I think these are really good um, what you can fit into them etc and the other thing i wanted to show you was um this is just a little template i made for myself there's there's that one that i did before with the organza ribbon so i used that punch on a bit of paper um i've punched out on a bit of card i've i've um laced up the ribbon just attached it to here to see how pretty it can make it and at this side um when i've been making a lot of um pages and pockets for um, albums um, I had said on a, a previous video that um, a lot of people used um, a punch and it was a circle punch and what they did was used half put their punch into it halfway and it came out it gave this effect um, at the time I didn't have a circle punch so I just used a two drew around um, half of a two pence piece all I did was drew around some of it and then I cut it out or you could use a sharp knife um, but I actually picked myself up um, as it was going it was on sale in Hobbycraft and um, I picked myself up a circle punch and I've just tried it out and there put, put it in there and if you turn it the opposite way you would see it on the page um, very easy to do I'll just quickly show you and I'll just do it on that side so if you put it in halfway on your bit of paper and thing makes out oops went flying there you can see there it is on the back and the reason for that is that if you were making a folder or a pocket um, you would use a larger, larger tag than this but you could slip in your tag and when it goes that way you can see it so basically all you're doing is pulling it out like that and it just lets you see that there is something in it so either that or you could use a as I said two pence piece just draw around half of it so I've just used this because I was trying out my organza ribbon and I was trying to see different effects that I could get and um, even just two holes for a just for a little bow actually on that so and the last thing I wanted to show you which which is using the crafters ultimate pro, pro was to make boxes and um, um, that would be a project for another day to show you what to score up etc but I'm just going to show you that I've already made these ones and um, from that, from this machine I've been able to do little boxes, gift boxes um, it's the tops and the bottoms and you could slip your little present inside and all I've done is added a little bit of organza ribbon um, a little embellishment and this one it's I love you for always it's a little tag and you could write something on the back and attach it any way you want I'm just quickly showing you these um because it's something I made out of the companion's companion again another little box wrapped with organza ribbon for a little gift to put inside or a little book booklet or something a to and from that you can maybe attach so that when they open it they can see who it's from this is another little one just a simple idea Simple little box to make, um, a little tag you could attach to it for, and you could do all sizes of boxes. Um, that's quite small. I'm not sure what that would fit in it. A lipstick or something like that, and I've just attached a little bit of ribbon, and you could write the person's name on there. But you can actually do quite big boxes. Also, um, the boxes are not are not just for gifts. If you were if you were making a 
very large card or something, say a wedding card, and it was 3D or something like that, and it was going to be quite packed. You can see on the side um, how much you could get on the card, and you can make a box to match and put your big card inside it. Um, or the thick card should I say inside it and then wrap it up in a, this lovely box and it would make a really nice gift obviously your box would be bigger than that um, so maybe and that will be one of my other projects that will show you how to make these I just thought I'd give you because I had the Crafters Pro, Pro machine out I thought I would um, let you see that it can make various things so gig top off today is Buzzbomb um, if you've never seen them, they're a cracking band to see live. So thank you for watching. Bye.